Welcome back to another edition of Electric TV. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. When you're driving around town, chances are that the new high rise you see, stadium you visit, solar farm in the sun, wind tower spinning, or data center you rely on, chances are it was built by the Powering America team of NECA and the IBEW. But those jobs are only a fraction of the work that we do. Let's not forget about all the smaller projects around town that are vital to the local economy. In this series, we take you inside some of those jobs to meet the contractors and electricians in our neighborhood. Youngstown, Ohio, a city like so many others, working to redefine itself after the decline in the steel industry years ago. But that happy sound you're starting to hear more and more of is that of construction. And in the heart of it is Joe Dickey Electric, a Youngstown contractor through and through. I had done a lot of residential and small commercial work in the area, and I was invited into NECA in 1968, and I succeeded from there to hire their people and build a great workforce for the IBEW. Joe Dickey Electric's obviously an electrical contractor. We're a multifaceted electrical contractor because we have to stay diverse. So we do everything from residential to building your substations. We can change your light in your home to building your substation for your plant, and just about everything in between. Everything in between now involves the redevelopment of some 100-year-old downtown landmarks. The Wick Tower is being rebuilt from top to bottom into brand new, attractive apartments. The Stambaugh Building, once home to a local business on top and an apartment store below, will be opening its doors as the only hotel in the heart of downtown. To top off the surge of work, Dickey Electric is in the middle of a major expansion of a FedEx distribution center. It involves two terminal additions where we're adding 101 dock positions. We're also renovating their existing office facility, adding on to an existing maintenance shop, and providing new fueling station uh, on the far north part of the property. Their staff, the people on site, uh, the results oriented. And this being kind of bringing Youngstown back kind of has a nice feel. Plus, there's a lot of people locally that are all involved, so it's nice working with a lot of those people, as well as seeing something from nothing become something again. One reason Dickey Electric is getting the work is because of its solid 60-year-old reputation. That's just the first step. As long as dollar and cents play a role in construction projects, so does being competitive. In Youngstown, and in other cities across the country, the Powering America team is now winning work with what's being called blended rates. That means certain less technical tasks on the job are performed by newer workers to the industry at a lower pay scale, yet all still under the watchful eye of IBEW journeymen. One thing my father has instilled on this company is you always gotta be ahead of the game, not behind it, you can't catch up. You gotta lead the pack. And these different classifications and the blending of the rates helped us immensely that journeyman that's taking the lead, that's taking more of a management side of things, he's still installing work, but he's spending more time working and organizing things and taking these, these young men, these young women that are, that are new to the industry, but we can teach them a couple tasks to be able to get that work and go. Contractors now are dealing with generals and, and customers that they maybe hadn't worked for in years or, or maybe had never had the opportunity to work for. That's one great thing about working for them is they, they appreciate excellence in your work. Uh, they want you to do a good job and they want things right and that's how I like to do things also. So it's a good fit. We take a lot of pride in doing things right the first time and making everything look good. It's proven itself in Youngstown and across the entire U.S. Customers investing in construction projects can have it both ways. The unmatched skill and excellence of the NECA IBEW Powering America team and they can have it at a competitive price. I always say when you're on a job, you're really interviewing for the next job. So quality is, is, shouldn't always be number one. Fortunately, our employers agree with that too, so that makes it a, uh, a lot easier to go out there and, and provide a quality product. So we want to make sure that we have still quality people that are making sure that we're doing electrical work safely, but we still have the ability to be able to stay competitive. So it's, it's a fine line to walk, but it's a line that's capable of being able to be walked. With the challenges that are presented, we didn't want to have to deal with, you know, second-rate electrical contractor. We got the very best in the area. We still have to run a business, and we still have to get the work done, 
and we have to do it for a reasonable rate. And we can't do it the old way anymore. We have to do it the new way. This new way is working just fine for customers and for the Powering America team in Youngstown, Ohio. For Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. Please follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.